well five very strong colonies opened the lids earlier loads of honey middle two or the bottom one and the middle and normally the uh, the egg boxes they've run out of space for laying their eggs so I've had to sort out one or two issues there in the bottom and middle boxes the top boxes are known as the supers and they should just carry frames normally smaller frames like this box here the top box is, is a smaller one and uh, what you do is you, you try and stop the queen from crawling all up there to lay eggs alongside the honey because you want to harvest that honey so you use a queen excluder which you may have seen on some of my other films uh, a yellow or sometimes a metallic uh, grid much like a barbecue stand that stops the queen because it's slightly bigger than the females the workers from climbing up because they want to do that as it gets hotter or um, even as it gets cooler in winter they they try and climb to where the heat is going so um, you don't mind that in winter but you don't want it in summer when it could spoil your honey when you're spinning your honey you don't really want to have baby bees um, going into the mixture now this is my pride and joy this is a solar wax extractor and I made it yesterday and the idea if it works my neighbours tends to work but anything I do doesn't so it's fingers crossed um, you lay your cut out wax there that you've cut out from the frame in on a metal um, heat exchanger and that's made out of a, an old diesel it's made out of an old diesel uh, um, filter uh, which has been opened up with a, an angle grinder so that it's flat and and then loads and loads of folio and uh, tin sheet to um, concentrate the sun and then there's a hole underneath the, the diesel filter which you can see is perforated with lots of holes and in that that hole I've shaped it as a square um, are all sorts of uh, things dropping down at the moment all the infestation larvae and all that sort of thing that's um, coming out of the the stored wax that we had from last winter uh, it's trying to crawl away from the heat it's just too much for it uh, then we should get the wax inside actually melt and go down we we'll have to clean it up this time because we've got all these um, larvae and that sort of thing moth um, pupae and all that sort of stuff coming out so we will have to go through another process yet again what we do with this wax is um, when you see me stringing uh, a frame up before and putting a new sheet of wax on this is how it happens you hand over this cake that you you get at the bottom in a little pot to the, the shop vendor he charges you a little bit on top and gives you another kilogram so per kilogram of old stuff you give him you give him uh, some extra money on top and he replaces you with new preformed wax um, mountings that, that actually go on to the frame and encourage the bee to to lay the correct size hole which is the worker hole and not the drone hole which is, is larger produces a male which is no use for for making honey so there you go it's me in the shadow beautiful dinaric mountains behind this stretch is called Kamaznitsa and the highest peak over there is called Koin which means horse which is just behind that poplar tree and then if you go down you see a road in the background that used to be the old road to Sin in Croatia uh, never used to be a border there 
before 1990. And then to the right, as the hills disappear, or the mountains disappear, you have uh, Troglav, which is, means three, three heads. Um, it's like got three pinnacles very close to it. And then uh, come down to the Duman Spring, where all our water, clean water, comes from down there. And I'll leave you on that now, on that note. One last look at my solar trap.